In this video, we're going to show the SmartThings Tasker integration with Sharp Tools. So when we first open the application, what we're going to see is that we don't have an access token. So we can try to authorize some things through settings. So we'll open the nav drawer, select settings, and then click authorize things. This will show the authorization window pop up within the Sharp Tools application. But we prefer to long press on the authorize things button, which will actually open up the authorization in Chrome. This is nice as you might have your credential saved in Chrome, which makes it easier to authorize your things. So we'll select the list of things and click Authorize. This will take us back to the Sharp Tools app and we'll see that we got 21 things. So when we go back, we'll see the list of all these things. And if we choose the phrases option, we can see all of the phrases that we have, including the special turn off everything but bedroom option. Going back to things, we will long press on the upstairs hall item and choose subscribe. This will go ahead and get us registered with the push messaging system as well as register the device that we're interested in subscribing to. At this point we'll jump back to the home screen and we'll add a widget. We're going to add a thing widget which will allow us to toggle the device. Uh, this is going to be for demonstration purposes. So we'll select the same thing, upstairs hall, and then we'll go ahead and leave the default of toggle. We'll be presented with an option to start a trial or do an in-app purchase for now we'll just do start a trial. I'll explain that in a little bit. So we'll jump into Tasker and at the bottom we'll click the plus symbol to add a new profile. Click event, plugin, and things date. Click the pencil icon to edit our plugin at which point we'll be presented with thing name and attribute name as filters. We'll add in a thing name of upstairs which means we'll match all things which have upstairs in their name. We'll go ahead and click apply. At this point, we'll be presented with the option to start a trial or perform an in-app purchase. And for our case, we'll go ahead and start the trial, which will start a seven-day trial. And now we'll click back, which will prompt us to create a new task, which will leave the name field empty. And then we will select the plus sign to add a new action, alert, notify. We'll enter in a title for the notification of ST event, and then we'll move down to the text field where we'll select the time. This will show us that the notification has triggered recently. So now we'll go back and review all of our settings. At this point, if we feel everything is good, we can go back to the home screen where we'll select the widget to toggle the upstairs hall lights. We'll see that that is successful, and after the lights have actually come on, we'll see shortly thereafter a notification will pop up at the top. And when we pull down our notification shade, what we'll see is we have the ST event notification, just like we expected well as a GCM notification, which is helpful for debugging purposes. So that was a quick demonstration of Tasker integration with SmartThings. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the SmartThings community.